most people, at least <laughs> most that I've seen, use one of two techniques to memorize content before taking a, a test. Uh, staring at notes and flashcards. Well, the, the looking at your notes technique is pretty self-descriptive, right? So you, you look at your notes and then you look away, right? And you look at your notes and you look away until what you see on your notes, it, it, it sticks in your head, right? Uh, this takes many times and usually each gain that you have isn't that much. Flashcards is a lot like staring at your notes with cards. Both of these techniques have a low rate of return, shall we say. It takes a lot of time you know, to repeat these uh, uh, attempts many, many times before you retain content. I, I'm going to make some videos here in this, this short little series of videos. I, I will provide techniques that work a lot better. You have a much higher rate of return. In other words, uh, for each attempt that you uh, make, you retain a lot more content, if not all of it. Both staring at notes and flashcards rely upon repetition, frequency, and short-term memory to retain content. Repetition, frequency, and short-term memory just frankly don't work that well for memorizing content. And if you don't believe me, think of the number of times you've used these techniques to try to remember content for an exam. Think of the hours it takes before it sticks in your head, and then by the way, usually dissipates within about a day and a half. Your brain is the product of thousands of years of evolution. And your ancestors are able to survive because they can remember the past and the consequences of the past. And moreover, they can pass on what they remember to others. Hence, our ability to tell stories. Your ancestors survive because they can remember way, where they have been in sequence, in order, and what they have seen. You're able to remember stories, location, and images really well. It comes very naturally to you. And the ability to remember stories, location, and images happens without flashcards or staring at notes. So why bother with them? So the question is, how can we use those parts of your brain that are already well developed, that don't take that much effort, to memorize content? The basic strategy here is to use stories, location, and images, which you already retain really well, but to use stories, location, and images, and associate that in some way with content that you want to remember for an exam. In this first video, I'm going to teach you the chaining image technique. So with the chaining image technique, you create images. Now, chances are these won't be literal images of content. They'll have to in some way be associated with the images of content. And the reason is, is because, you know, most of the content that you're trying to remember uh, is not a concrete thing, right? Prime numbers, the history of Texas, and your civil rights, these are not concrete particular things. You can't look at them and see them. A favorite tactic of mine is to use images that, when sounded out, sound similar to the content you want to remember. So think of prime number, right? Prime number. Uh, what I might think of as a pile of prime rib, right? Take a big pile of prime ribs. Well, let's say a number of prime ribs. A number of prime ribs, prime number. Or the right to free speech. So think of somebody handing out speeches with their right hand. Right. Handing out speeches for free with their right hand. The right to free speech. Exactly what images you use can sometimes vary upon your personal history, so I don't really have any hard and fast general rules to use. I can tell you this, so it, it gets easier the more you practice it. The more outlandish the image, the better. Right. Highly unusual images, <laughs> or anything highly unusual, sticks in your mind easier. Now that you have these images, have them interact with each other in sequence to form a story. The story doesn't have to be plausible. In fact, the, least, the, the less plausible, the better. Uh, they just have to interact with each other in a sequence of events. Try to incorporate more in the image than just sight. I mean, especially have vivid colors or lights or dark or something. Uh, something striking in that way, but also incorporate smells, sweet smells, right? Or you know, staunchy, you know, stench smells. Uh, textures, rough, I mean, have it the way it touches you. Try to incorporate all of your senses into an image. For just a tiny little example, uh, suppose you want to remember a grocery list. Well, let's just make a, a quick grocery list of orange juice, apples, and peanut butter. Think of a large orange, but uh, instead of just an orange, I take a big straw and stick it right in the middle of that orange, and then all of a sudden the orange pops up eyes and says, ouch! Next, the apple comes up and takes, <laughs> takes a big slurp 
of the of juice out of that orange. Now we got weird fruit cannibalism. And then finally, a large tub of butter just brimming over with peanuts, right? Just peanuts are gushing out of it. A large tub of butter with peanuts falls on top of the apple. Well, this, this is just a, a short little example. But now this, <laughs> I bet this image of a, you know, a, out, orange saying ouch with a straw on its head and a weird cannibal apple you know, being hit by a tub of butter filled with peanuts. I bet that's in your head pretty well. <laughs> uh, you may not forget that for the rest of the day and you may or may not be grateful for that. <laughs> Let's try a more complicated example. Let's quickly memorize the first 10 states to join the Union. So the first state is Delaware. So uh, for Delaware, I thought, hey, Dell Computer. Right. So here we have a Dell computer. And since it's really advanced programming, this Dell computer has become aware. And looking at you, right? Dell aware. Right. So the next state is Pennsylvania. And this, well, you know, kind of obvious, right? Well, Pennsylvania has already got pencil in there. So here's our little friendly pencil. But what's going to do the Vania part? Well, this friendly pencil actually isn't that friendly. It's a Pennsylvania from Transylvania. It's a vampire pencil. Pennsylvania, pencil from Transylvania, Pennsylvania. Well, our little Dell computer got real scared by our vampire pencil. So through a Jersey, New Jersey, onto the pencil. So we've got New Jersey. And that uh, jersey was very bright, reminded our vampire pencil of the sun, and decided to take off. But the vampire pencil, the pencil from Transylvania, the Pennsylvania, had its revenge and got, grabbed a Georgia peach and threw it at the jersey. <laughs> a Georgia peach for Georgia at the jersey. Uh, and this left a big stain. So uh, now we've got Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey and Georgia for, for, for our uh, state so far. Uh, so this, yeah, like I said, this, uh, uh, you know, peach left a stain and we got to get rid of that stain, don't we? And that's a nasty stain on the New Jersey. Well, probably the best way to do it is to cut it out. Now, fortunately I've got these scissors and that's great, but they're broken apart. So I'm going to need to connect the scissors to cut, connect to cut Connecticut, hmm? Connecticut. So I've got my scissors and I've cut out my, I've cut the uh, stain out of the shirt, out of the jersey. So there's the stain. It's off to the side. And I guess I just better get burned up the jersey. It's useless now. But now what am I going to do with this stain? Well, friends, fortunately, I got my friend Smiley here. And Smiley loves to chew, loves to chew masses. So we're going to give this mass to chew to Smiley. So mass to chew. Then there goes Smiley. Chew, Massachusetts, Massachusetts. All right. Uh, so, okay, just to recap, we have, we have Delaware, okay, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, and now Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Well, this chewing makes our friend Smiley real happy. So Smiley's over here being real happy. And since my Smiley's so happy, my Smiley's going to get married. So off to Maryland for Smiley. Maryland for Smiley <clears throat> to get married. Now the next state uh, is a uh, you know so now we've we've gone from Connecticut uh, to Maryland and the next state's a little bit tougher is South Carolina and I struggled for a little bit to figure out some kind of silly image for South Carolina the only thing I could come up with is Southern Carol okay? Southern Carol so a Christmas Carol that's sung in the South and you know unfortunately the way, the way my twisted mind works the only thing I can think of is Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Right, so that's my Southern Carol, right? Southern Carol for South Carolina. Now, the good news is, you know, even though this is a really bad song, it's going to stick in your head for the rest of the day and you're probably going to hate me for it. Uh, this sleigh brought with it a nice little gift, right? a ham for New Hampshire. A nice tasty ham for New Hampshire. A new ham for New Hampshire. Right? And so now we can get rid of that awful carol. <laughs> now with uh, uh, a ham, that's a really big ham, so we're going to probably need somebody to come over and help us uh, eat this ham. Well, uh, we got another uh, uh, version of Smiley here. Uh, this Smiley has a furry chin. Furry chin for Virginia. Right? This is a bit of a tough one too. Furry chin for Virgin for Virginia. Furry chin, virgin, Virginia, right? So uh, those are the first 10 states. So just a quick recap. 
first date is Delaware. So I have my Dell computer that's aware of you. And the next state is Pennsylvania. We have the pencil from Transylvania, and that scares away the uh, Delaware computer. But the Dell computer has its revenge and throws a New Jersey for New Jersey onto the pencil. And uh, that scares away the vampire pencil, the, the pencil from Transylvania. And it throws a Georgia peach onto the Jersey, which leaves a big stain on, on the Jersey itself. But we got to get rid of that stain. So to do that, we got to cut it out. We got our uh, pieces of the scissors, and we connect to cut Connecticut the shirt, and that leaves a nice big mass of stained shirt off to the side. So we burn up the shirt. Uh, we got now we got for uh, this mass. We're gonna get it chewed up by Smiley Massachusetts. So my, Smiley takes the mass and starts chewing Massachusetts. Next up, uh, since Smiley's well happy, Smiley's going to get married. So off to Maryland for Smiley. And then we unfortunately sing a Southern Christmas Carol. Southern Carol. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. South Carolina for after Maryland. But that leaves off a nice big ham for New Hampshire. And we're going to have our uh, furry chin friend, Virginia. Furry chin, Virginia, to help us eat the ham. This will get you started. And it provides good practice. I'll teach you an even more effective technique in the next video.